In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the week function from Excel to schedule every second week. So in this situation, these people, the, the first six of them wanted to work alternately one week and then the other week. So, and then the last two people want to work one weekend and then the other weekend. So they want one week. So they want one week on and one week off. And the same thing with one weekend on, one weekend off. So let me run the schedule. And you can see that uh, they got this week off, this week on, the same thing as with um, this weekend on, this weekend off. Now, so let's look at this top one here. And they work the last week of January here. So we know that they should have the first week of February off. So let's clear this and let's change this to a two. And so now uh, we know when we run the schedule, this Sonia should have the first week off. So let's run the schedule. And there you see it continues on. She gets one week on and one week off, no matter what the schedule is. And so let me show you how I did this. So I'll bring up the code. Now I called this um, week function and R for row as long, uh, C for column as long, and the week as long. Okay, so now what I've done, so what I've done is I have said that C equals two, and that's where the, the month starts, and R equals five, and that's the first employee. And so I go from C equals five to 12, I mean, sorry, from R equals five to 12. And so that's where the employees are on my list. And by the way, these are from the random name generator. If your name appears on this list, you need to go and buy a lottery ticket. Um, and then from columns, I go from C2, which is a start to uh, C32, which is the end of the month. Okay, so week equals application worksheet function, sheet one, cells three dot C. So, count down the rows and even though um i only have a monday in here it's it's look it's actually it's actually ac accessing this date that i've got here so it's the full date and so the week function the week function is telling it which week it is now on sheet two i have just put out so this is where the weeks the weeks start so week one would be uh january january 2nd and then like week 23 would be june uh june 5th uh 21. now microsoft or uh, excel knows this so you don't need to tell it so what we're doing is we are using that week function to figure out when these people are working and so what we're going to do is we go um if so r equals five seven or nine so that is the people that sorry let's go back to the other one and so if uh r equals five seven or nine so that's the first set then the week mode which is we're checking to see if it's even equal meet week, week mod two equals one and sheets um, RC select. And so then we say, as long as it's not Saturday, uh, so Sunday is one and Saturday is seven, as long as it's not those days, then they're working the rest of the week. And then it's the absolute opposite for the other ones. We'll go um, for six, eight or 10, then we'll go sheet uh, sheets one RC select. If sheet, um, if sheet cells value is not equal one or not equal seven, and we've got uh, mode two does not equal one, so that's not it's not the same as the other one, then um, then sheet then we'll put a W in there. Now it's a whole different story for the weekend because if you notice, um, there Microsoft's week starts on Sunday, so Sunday's a mon is a one, and Saturday is a seven. Now if you just put um, if you just put in the one uh, mod equals one, you would have a Saturday this week and a Sunday the next week. 
And so for the for the weekends, what I had to do is two separate ones. So uh, when it's equal to seven, you want it to be odd. And when it's uh, equal to one, you want it to be even so that you get both the Saturday and the Sunday. So that's how that works. And it keeps going right along for the rest of the year. Now, the, there's one other thing I wanted to show you. Um, people quite often ask me, I always have this clear function and I never explain how to do it. So I've got my whole week here. And so what I did, and it's no huge coding thing, when I've gone to my developer tab, I've gone to the record macro, and then I'll just call it macro one and I'll say, okay. And I'm just selecting these cells where I don't want there to be anything in there anymore. And then I press the delete on my keyboard. And then um, I stop running the macro. And um, then I rename that macro to be clear. And I assign it to this button by um, right clicking and assign macro. And then I select I have clear, clear which is the same as macro one. So that's how you do a schedule using the week function in Excel. If this type of thing interests you, I have an introduction to VBA for Excel course. I will have the link in my description. I will also have the code for this, this sheet. Please subscribe.